What did Jesus teach about homosexuality? When delving into discussions about homosexuality and same-sex marriage, particularly in various mediums such as personal conversations, media, or online forums, the focus often shifts to the Bible's stance on the matter. Some assert that homosexuality is sinful, citing passages from Leviticus, Romans, or the narratives of Sodom and Gomorrah. Conversely, others argue against this notion, suggesting that homosexuality is not condemned in the Bible. In these exchanges, common rebuttals might include assertions like, Jesus never directly addressed homosexuality, or comparisons with other Old Testament laws that are no longer strictly followed, such as dietary restrictions or prohibitions on certain fabrics. These discussions can swiftly become heated, descending into confusion, frustration, or anger when confronted with the question, what exactly does the Bible say about homosexuality? Although Jesus didn't directly discuss homosexuality in his teachings, it's incorrect to assume that he had no stance on sexuality or marriage. Jesus often referred back to the original order of creation, emphasizing the union of male and female as designed by God, intended to be lifelong and inseparable, Mark 10 verses 2 to 9. Some may interpret his silence on certain topics, such as bestiality or incest, as ambivalence, but this overlooks the method Jesus used to convey his teachings. Jesus focused on core principles and foundational truths, rather than addressing every specific issue individually. His silence on certain matters doesn't imply approval or indifference. It's essential to note that Jesus never ranked certain sins as more condemnable than others, emphasizing that all forms of sexual immorality are detrimental, as they involve sinning against one's own body, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 18. In the eyes of Jesus, every individual stands equally in need of redemption at the foot of the cross. While Jesus affirmed the traditional understanding of marriage between a man and a woman, his teachings imply a broader framework consistent with the prevailing views on sexual ethics within the Jewish context of his time. Christians who regard the Bible as divinely inspired use it as a guide to discern God's will for humanity. However, understanding biblical teachings requires examining the entirety of scripture, considering linguistic, historical, and cultural contexts, and aligning interpretations with the overarching character of God. As our understanding of faith deepens, our ability to interpret and apply biblical principles evolves accordingly. Thank you for watching Celestial Chronicles. Until next time, keep seeking, keep questioning, and keep the chronicles of your own journey alive.